Hey guys, welcome back to Pro Gun. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. We'd greatly appreciate that. This week's podcast is going to be Guns Used in Defense. One of my viewers asked me to do a podcast on guns used in defense during the pandemic, and we tried to do that. As a data analyst, I noticed when collecting data that data on defensive use of force and averted crimes due to the presence of a gun are controversial and inconsistent. Defensive gun use statistics generally rely on self-reporting, interviews, police, and media reports, which produces contradictory and often inconsistent data. It can't be proved if data was recorded in the police report or any other record when no crime was committed or reported. Most of the time, when a gun is used to prevent a crime, there is no record. Most of the data is only reported by surveys. Here is what we do know. 50% of the felons said they're more afraid of encountering an armed citizen while committing a crime than a cop. That was reported by the Department of Justice. And 31.1% of all gun owners who took the survey said they had used their firearm in self-defense at least once, even if it wasn't fired or displayed. I find this information very interesting. During the pandemic between 2019 and 2020, there were more felons killed by private citizens during the pandemic than police. If you look here, citizens using other weapons in 2019 were 55 versus 7 by police, and in 2020, 62 by citizens versus 5 by police. Now, citizens using handguns in 2019 was 359 versus 355 by police, and in 2020, 343 citizens used handguns versus 298 by police. I find those numbers very interesting. According to the surveys on how guns were used during the pandemic for defense, 31% just verbally told the attacker that they had a firearm, 50.9% showed the gun but didn't fire, and 18.10% actually fired the gun. I find these numbers very interesting. According to the survey, they asked gun owners how often they carry a gun in public. And I'm shocked that 43.8% never carry a firearm, 6.9% carry often, 21.2% only carry in dangerous situations, 19% carry sometimes, and 9.1% always carry. I, I just find this mind-boggling that 43.8% never carry and only 9.10% always carry. According to the survey, the guns used in defense, 65.9% were handguns, 13.10% were rifles, and 21% were shotguns. I don't find that surprising at all because you're normally not going to walk around with a rifle or a shotgun, so it makes sense that 65.9% used handguns. And here are the survey results on where the firearm use took place. 53.9% took place outside their home but on their property. 25.2% took place inside their home. So that's 79.1% between the two of those. 3.2% happened at work, 9.1% happened in public, and 4.8% happened at someone else's home, and 3.9% were other. I'm a little surprised that the 4.8% on 
someone else's property or in someone else's home. That number seems a little high. But there you have it. The most accurate data really um, is from the surveys. And like I said, the, the biggest problem with accurate data is in most cases, unless the homeowner kills the perpetrator, there's probably not even going to be a statistic of that. If someone injures or makes the threat go away with the firearm, that's probably not going to be recorded either. And in a lot of cases when there's a threat and someone shows the firearm or threatens the assailant with their own firearm and they run away, most of the time that doesn't even get reported to police, so it's not captured in the data. But thanks for listening to our podcast. As always, please leave a suggestion if there's anything you'd like us to cover, and we'll see what we can do. Thank you.